You have to stop being a fool. Stop being a fool and specifically stop being everybody else's fool. This is one of the biggest lessons that I learned in life is that I had to stop being everybody else's fool. I'm going to tell you what I mean by being everybody else's fool. See, if you are a fool for somebody else, the chances of everyone liking you goes up dramatically because you're their fool. And being somebody else's fool often means that you put yourself on a lower pedestal then you put the person that you're being a fool for. And let me tell you, in my life, I've been people's fool so many times. So many times I got the short end of the stick because I put somebody else before I put myself because I respected somebody else's opinion of me more than I respected the opinion of myself. I was their fool. You could be a fool and not even know it. So here are some signs that will let you know if you're being a fool to somebody else. Number one, are you always looking out for them, but they never look out for you? Oh my God, biggest red flag that you are a fool. If you're always looking out for other people, and here's what I mean by looking out for people. You are always on the lookout for opportunities for everybody else. Or when someone else has good news, you're always there to listen to their good news. But when you have good news, nobody's there to listen to it. Another way you can tell you're a fool is if your friends can tell you the most insane things about their life. You never judge their life. But the moment you get real with them and tell them something real about your life is the moment all judgment comes out. You're a fool. Do you find yourself constantly being the sounding board for other people? I mean, you might have a friend that every time you talk to the friend, they always got something negative going on, always got some drama going on. But because you're a good friend, you're always there to listen. Not only are you always there to listen, you're always there to pick them up. But the moment you have some news is the moment they don't want to hear it or they judge you for it drastically. You are a fool. Do you give away all your time? Do you have people that always want to pick your brain? Let me pick your brain about this. Let me pick your brain about that. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Sally. Hey, Joe. Hey, Kevin. Let me pick your brain. And you give away all your time only to get to the end of the day and realize you have no time left. You are their fool. Do you always give money to people? Always give money to them. Always give knowledge to them. Always give information to them. Always give opportunities to them. And then as soon as they get what they want from you, they're gone. You are their fool. Hello, wake up. You are their fool. And you got to stop being their fool. Are you always babysitting for someone? And as long as you're babysitting for them, oh, they love you. Oh, my God, you're the best. I love you so much. But tell them no one time and see how they respond. No, you don't really have a friend. You're just their fool. And a lot of times... Being somebody fool comes from a deep desire to please people, a.k.a. people pleasing. You see, 
When you are committed to pleasing other people, you will put yourself on the short end of the spectrum. You will value other people's opinion of you more than you value yourself. And you got to stop doing that. Stop doing things out of obligation. I call this breaking free from the institution of obligation. Fuck obligation. Stand tall inside of yourself and ask yourself before you commit to anything, before you agree to anything, before you pick up the phone, before you respond to a text message, before you answer an email, ask yourself, do I even get value from associating with this person? Or is it a one sided relationship? Are they the ones that are constantly receiving something of value from me, but I'm not receiving anything of value from them? And the value doesn't even have to be equal as long as there is a value exchange between both parties. See, a lot of times you let people suck the life out of you and you're left with nothing. And you wonder why you feel this deep void because you have vampires around you. All of they all they're doing is sucking the life out of you. And you got to stop doing that. So I made up my mind many years ago that I'd rather be to myself than to be constantly around people that just want to take, 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 take. I stopped being people's fool. When I was a teenager, I was somebody's fool. Yeah, we was in the streets and somebody had something on them that didn't belong to them. I would hold it for them. Oh, I was a fool. I thought I was being real. No, being real sometimes means being a fool to somebody else, for somebody else. Somebody would have problems with another person. I would jump into it because, oh, I'm I'm being real. I'm helping out my friend. No, I was being their fool. I was getting involved in things that had nothing to do with me. Stop being a fool. Value yourself more. Place your hand on your heart and say to yourself, place your hand on your heart and say to yourself, I value myself. I am nobody's fool. I value my mind, I value my time, and I give myself permission to shine. I am nobody's fool. Yeah, so people will think that you've changed simply because you have stopped being their fool. They will say, man, you have changed on us. You changed on me. You let me go. You stopped fooling with me. I just... I'm not interested in being your fool anymore. I'm not interested in being the nice guy anymore or the nice woman anymore, whoever you are. I'm not interested in being disloyal to myself in order to be loyal to you. I am nobody's fool. So in self-mastery, self-mastery is all about owning the quality of your life experience. Understanding that if your life is going to change, you have to be life changing itself. Give yourself permission to break free from the institution of obligation and stop being everybody's fool. It's Robbie Cornelius always encouraging you to master your mind. Go to my profile if you want to work with me and I'll show you how to break free from that clutter and stop being everybody else's fool. Master yourself.